In many professions, diversity is measured in terms of skin color, sex, orientation, or other unimportant metrics. But in engineering, we know that the real meaning to diversity is working with a very talented pool of freaks, weirdos, and social degenerates. For example, the guy who snores while he's listening to you. Or that kind of creepy guy that curses at, ridicules, and makes death threats against his own development machine. The guy who not only eats alone, but eats only a pile of peas, one at a time, quietly and mysteriously saying something to each and every one. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna nibble you up. We got a guy that's memorized pi past 100 digits, but he can't remember which fork is for salad. You know, some days I get the feeling that we recruit from the Bob Newhart School of Social Awkwardness. But you know what? It's kind of a good thing. I mean, in some industries, companies can hire people based on their social significance, but not in engineering. We have to hire all of the talented people that we can. I mean, if the guy we hire can answer complex problems, but only wearing an aluminum foil Viking helmet? Welcome aboard, Olaf. So sometime today, why not walk up to the freakiest freak that you work with, put your arm around him and say, hey man, thank you for being you and not being me. And for the record, in my office, I'm the guy that makes death threats at my computer.